So, I have two choices right now. I can take this big ass M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro or take this amazingly portable M2 MacBook Air to an overseas Docker shoot. And I've decided to take this guy. I booked a flight to film a doco for a NGO working friend doing amazing work over there. A portable laptop for this trip is a must. Backing up daily rushes, editing photos, admin work. I test the battery life, portability, durability, video editing performance, and just its real world usefulness for travel. Bro, have you seen the color of this thing? Hmm? And I was just hovering over the checkout button. I just went, oops. Feeling guilty of buying something I didn't absolutely need, I let Joy unbox it. So just with my camera and MacBook Air, I left my girls behind and took off over 9,000 kilometers away to shoot my first solo doco film. I've been editing photos for the past like hour and a half and this thing still has 83% battery. That's like crazy good. Uh, another thing I want to talk about real quick is um, using this vlog. Once you plug it in, check this out. I've been just using this to just um, charge all my devices, all my cameras and laptops and everything. I started falling in love with its form factor. It's the first time I actually enjoyed using a thin and light laptop, which fit perfectly on my tray table on the plane. Hey, nothing to subscribe. When I come back home, I better see two more subscribers. Okay, okay. okay let's Samuel, Samuel Nam. Nam. Can you remember Samuel that? Nam. Nam. Samuel Can you remember Nam. that? Wanna be famous? Yes. Famous? Famous. Oh, famous? Yes. These guys are my neighbors. Uh, I cannot imagine this doco shoot trip without this MacBook Air. First of all, my backpack was 6.9 kilograms, deliberately. My biggest concern was performance because I need the gear to keep up with me. In fact, I need the gear to be ahead of me. So I thought performance was kind of the problem and I thought practicality, that's just like a little bonus thing. Every time I leave the house, I have two choices. MacBook Pro, 16 inch TV, or the MacBook Air. And I, 99% of the time, I gravitate towards bringing the MacBook Air. Now, that is a testament to what's more important to me. Is it portability or is it performance? And only 1% of the time when I know I'm going to be rendering 50,000 videos like today, um, I will bring the MacBook Pro. Most of the times, I reach out for the MacBook Air. There's times I wrote emails while I'm walking around like this. I'll never do that on that 16 inch TV because it'll break my hand. Yeah, let's talk about this MacBook Air that's in my bag right now. Number one, it's got only 48% battery life and I took it out without a charger because the battery just goes for days. Like 48%, that'll last me like five hours I reckon. No joke. And I'm just gonna go to a cafe, do some light work, do some editing, send some emails and whatnot and I'm confident to go out. And it's just, uh, you know, it's a laptop that you want to use on the go. Something just became apparent to me. Every tech gear that you buy should serve a greater purpose. Whether you have a camera, whether you have a laptop, you should always think about how you could give back to the community with the gear that you have, with the skills that you've got. It's my third day and it's been really hard. But my heart has never been so joyful because for the first time in a very long time, I feel like I'm actually using the skills that I have, the cameras, the, the laptops, finally putting them to use for a greater purpose. This form factor actually inspires you to use it more. It's like a similar thing to like, let me bring it, this guy. And this thing on paper, it's not that great. It's just much slower, yet 
I've taken so many photos. I've taken over like 2,000 photos already. And it just makes me want to use it because of the form factor and the design. It's just so pretty to look at. Look at that. Whenever I'm editing or doing anything, I just leave this on the table. It just inspires me. And in the same way, this MacBook Air is kind of similar because it, it just looks so good. Look at this color. And to know that there's no fans in here as well is so good because this country, it's so dusty. I like, I open my bag and all my cameras, lenses, everything and dust everywhere on it. Because this thing doesn't have fans, it's not going to get into the system. There's no, you know what I mean? There's no vents. Look, there's no vents. The tech needs to serve a function. I always choose the product that has the greatest function to get your job done. For example, when choosing a camera system, I chose the Sony system. When I tested all the brands, they had the best function. Same thing with a laptop. I opted for the biggest, baddest laptop for function. What I neglected all this time was how does the product make you feel? Does it inspire you to pick it up and shoot photos? Does it inspire you to grab it and work at a library or at a park with your laptop? Just like how the Fuji X100V inspires me to want to take photos, the MacBook Air inspires me to just use it for productivity in random places around the house, way more than my 16 inch M1 Max did. Because it feels like I'm pulling a TV out of my bag. Like every time, it's like, I'm like, I'm like pull my back into it every time. With the MacBook Air, it's, just, it's in my bag right now, right here. Just, out. What is the final verdict about the MacBook Air? This laptop is nearly the perfect laptop for all situations and for most people. I happen to fall into a category where this laptop cannot be my primary laptop. And it's because of just one thing, rendering performance. Rendering videos in Premiere Pro much slower than the M1 Max and the M2 Max laptops. And that's it, that's the only catch. Usually if the rendering performance is bad, the editing performance, the scrubbing and the, the photo editing performance, Photoshop and all that stuff should be slow, right? But no, this actually kills it. So in terms of editing, doing anything other than rendering is super fast. This very video that you're seeing here has been edited mostly with this guy. And I've got a lot of mixed footages that my old Intel 16 inch MacBook Pro would have just crapped its ass for. H.265 files mixed in with drone, FX6 footage, A7S3 footage, I've got iPhone footage. The fact that this fanless MacBook Air did it without even like heating up during editing is pretty crazy. You know, I'm gonna do something that I could never have, I never dreamt of. It took me six months to get 24 subscribers. Did you know that? And today to think that I actually have comments is pretty crazy and I've always wanted to do this. So I'm gonna read some comments from my previous couple videos from Marco AB 2000 and your time timer video really put things into perspective as to why I felt the way I did. Thanks again, Sam. This is, this is awesome. This is awesome to think that someone watched like a random video that I made and was like, man, I'm inspired to do something. That's, that's really cool. Uh, so you're my favorite YouTuber now. Uh, very different way of reviewing things. That's a sub. Thanks, Bray. Literally watch this while writing an email. This is uh, my don't multitask video. So good job. You're lucky you can multitask. I can't. So Jay Crucial wrote, remember me when you hit 1 million subscribers? I, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, Todd Castaldi said, great review and great comedy. All wrapped into one. Thank you. I'm not like going out of my way to be like, I'm gonna be as funny as possible. I'm just doing whatever the frick I want because I've been making corporate videos for like, what, 14 years now. And corporate videos, for some reason, are not meant to be funny. Like it's just, this, this is a corporate video. Like, wait, I've got to look off camera, right? Like, Hi, my name is Sam and I've been using this MacBook Air for about uh, a couple of weeks now and I think it's a great tool because it's very light and I think the color is awesome Actually, that's kind of funny. So it's got to be less funnier than that Like like I've been making that for so long So I'm like itching to do something that I want to do if I was to shoot all corporate videos I'll make them like this just Just cuts and just blah, blah, Whatever comes out of my head